Now from CBS4 News, this is a taste of the town special, the best of 2021. Here's CBS4's Lisa Petrillo. Welcome. Over the next half hour, we're going to give you a little bite of some of 2021's best taste of the towns. It's certainly been an unprecedented year with the pandemic, forcing us to rethink where we eat and how. We pivoted when we had to with our dine-out takeout editions. Pearl by Chef IP is the brainchild of a private chef who turned his love for cooking into a restaurant in North Miami Beach. But our first tasting is at celebrity chef Marcus Samuelson's Red Rooster Overtown. So the floors, where are these from? It's fun, right? After a year of delays due to the pandemic, chef Marcus Samuelson is proudly showing off his new crown jewel here at Red Rooster Overtown. So chef, so exciting. I've been talking to you on Zoom this whole year, yeah. in person now. Social distance though. Social distance. Yes, keep, you better keep over there. <laughs> keep that. Stay over there. The 10,000 square foot two-story building is the former Clyde Killens Pool Hall in Overtown, a notable hotspot in the 1960s. We have a huge patio of 90 seats, and we only seat it basically 50-60%, right? Because we don't want people to feel uncomfortable and safety is number one. And we got a roof on a patio. Most of the staff live in and around Overtown, all part of the plan for Samuelson. Just to be able to provide job in a time where people are losing their job yeah. is also very powerful. Samuelson, who was born in Ethiopia and raised in Sweden, blends his multicultural background and love for diversity into everything in Red Rooster, which begins with the food. So we want to really just kind of caramelize that glaze, right? So we just do a little... Whoa! Bird on fire, bird on fire. It's the Rooster Royale, a full roasted bird presented by Red Rooster's executive chef, Tristan Epps. It's fun, it's festive, and it's super delicious. The caramelization on it, keeping it so moist, it is delicious. Tender, tasty. The large whole burnt end cauliflower sits on a fresh herb and almond salad. And this cauliflower has gusto, so it's a vegetarian dish that doesn't feel like it. I mean, yeah. it feels hearty. We end on a dish Chef calls the Viking. Which is really a fun play of a key lime pie that looks nothing like a key lime pie, but it's light, it's delicious. <laughs> We're good! <laughs> Our all-new Taste of the Town Dine-Out Takeout takes us to Pearl by IP and Miami Gardens Drive in North Miami Beach. It's named after chef and owner Isaac Perlman, who made quite a name for himself, first as a private chef and later as a successful caterer. For the last five years, I wanted to do a restaurant because then it was, okay, how do we get the people who can't afford private service at their house to try our food? We said, okay, let's look for a space, and we finally found our home here in this beautiful new building. We're sitting outside, safely six feet apart from Chef Isaac in the eatery's outdoor patio space. Pearl also offers inside dining in a modern, clean, and homey feel. First thing we said to them is, this is our home. The menu combines influences from Mediterranean and Japanese fare with Chef Isaac's personal touch. Back in the kitchen, Chef Isaac is joined by his chef de cuisine, Chef Malcolm, where they create our first tasting dishes. First up, the chicken katsu sandwich. It's thinly pounded chicken breast with remoulade, Swiss cheese, and spicy green cabbage slaw. There's a crunch of, you described it, the thin chicken. It's thin, Schnitzel it's crunchy, style. and there's a little bit of a kick of heat. Kimchi. Next, Chef's signature local fish tacos with red snapper, smashed avocado, pickled onion, lime roasted jalapeno aioli, inside black corn tortillas. You're gonna get spicy, you're gonna get a little sweet from the pickled onions. And finally, salmon tiradito. That could be my favorite salmon tiradito. That fattiness, a little bit of the fish, and then cut with the lemon, right, with the acidity, it's so good. If there's one thing about South Florida dining is that there's something for everyone. Starberry Moon, inside the Good Time Hotel on South Beach, is a partnership between music mogul Pharrell and the man known as Miami's nightlife king, David Grutman. But first, we take you inside Green Bar and Kitchen, a Fort Lauderdale vegan hotspot known for its plant-based offerings and so much more. It's a lot more than just green juices and salads at Green Bar and Kitchen in Fort Lauderdale. Although the menu is vegan, meaning it's all plant-based, they also pride themselves on knowing that vegans, or anyone who chooses to eat healthy, want their version of junk food as well. Vegan food isn't just vegetables. You know, it, it can taste good, it can, you know, really be a staple of, you know, an everyday diet. Green Bar Kitchen is fast casual style, where diners order up front and get served at the tables. The decor is clean and green as is the food, more modern on the inside, more bohemian and artsy outside. They also serve beer and wine as well as a few fancy drinks thrown in. 
taking one for the team, I sampled the blueberry mojito. There's nothing better on a hot, cold, uh, hot floor today. Nothing better. We begin with sashimi. Yes, you heard it right, but it's fish-free ingredients, replicating your favorite tuna and salmon sashimi. This is the tuna, but there's no tuna in it. There's no tuna in it. A lot of water and a lot of flaxseed oil. I would never know that that's not tuna. Nope. Wait, Get what? <laughs> We move on to vegan-style, junk-free, junk food. It's the Green Bar Burger, meatless, of course. And what holds it together is our quinoa and our chickpeas. There's a crunch inside. It's just a wonderful sandwich Very. burger. Yeah. Next, Green Bar's fried chicken sandwich. It can be served mild or spicy. It's clear which one I got. Great <laughs> crunch, definitely heat. Definitely some heat, Woo! definitely some heat. Green Bar and Kitchen, proving vegans can have their taste of junk food too. Oh, but without the junk. It's always an adventure sitting down with Miami's nightlife king and restaurant owner David Grutman. We're here at Strawberry Moon inside his Good Time Hotel on Washington Avenue on Miami Beach. The hotel and restaurant is a dream realized for Grutman, who feels like he's back where it all began. For me, it has such a place in my heart because this is when I first moved to Miami Beach. This is the block that I went to find a bartending job that no one would hire me, but this was the block. The restaurant is the second collaboration with Grutman's Groot Hospitality with multi-talented producer, recording artist, and entrepreneur Pharrell Williams. I have one way of looking at things and he has a complete opposite way. And together, it, it becomes something very special. The look is whimsical with a modern mid-century Caribbean-inspired decor designed by Ken Folk. Everything for us is an Instagrammable moment. Come here, Instagram away. Always the marketer. Celebs like Kim Kardashian, David Beckham, and Trevor Noah were spotted at the place right from the beginning. Back in the kitchen, executive chef Ian Fleischman prepares our food and joins me tableside to sample the menu. Plate after plate of feel-good food that begins with moon bread topped with tahini butter and coarse salt. Life's short. Start with dessert. Oh my gosh, it's so good. <laughs> We move on to Chef Chicken Kebabs, marinated in yogurt and served with an Israeli side sauce called Amba, made from pickled mangoes. I love the flavor of pickled mango. I can eat this for lunch every day and feel good about myself. The exotic grilled prawns has the perfect heat and crunch. It is kind of worldly. So much flavor. Exactly. Excellent dish. When we come back, whether you're a small family restaurant or launched by a successful major food group, you can be a South Florida success story. A lot of people wonder, where did you get the lil? It's because we're smaller than little. It has truffle. It has mushrooms. It's from heaven. <laughs> it's insane. That and more when this CBS4 News special, Taste of the Town, the best of 2021, continues. You are watching a CBS4 News special, Taste of the Town, the best of 2021. Once again, here's CBS4's Lisa Petrillo. Welcome back. With four restaurants under her belt and the author of five cookbooks, Chef Adrian Calvo's Coral Gables Eatery honors her mother's Italian heritage. It's called Forte by Chef Adrian. But first we take you to Carbone, one of the hottest high-end spots in South Beach, which has New York roots and a reputation for fine dining with spectacular service. Welcome to Carbone Miami, the sister restaurant of the original in New York, which has been called the most influential American restaurant of the last decade. The South Beach location on Collins Avenue, which opened in January, marks the fourth Carbone in the roster, along with Hong Kong and Las Vegas. It was always part of our, our hopes and our dreams, and I think that with the last year and COVID and everything that's happened and the fact that we were pretty shut down in New York, fed up our process and our thoughts here in Miami, and so we made a quick pivot here. The restaurant seats about 50 people on their retro tropical outdoor patio and another 140 inside, which is ornate with fancy chandeliers, rich fabrics. Mario describes it this way. 1960s sort of, if my Aunt Maria had a bunch of money, this was what she would build. <laughs> Reservations are tough to get. There's a lengthy wait list. Big name celebrities and hipsters fill the scene. Modern cuisine does not apply. So we make hopefully the best version of something that you've had hundreds of times before in your life. The Carpaccio Piedmontese is a filet of rare grass-fed beef. It has truffle, it has mushrooms, it's from heaven. <laughs> it's insane. So is the veal parmesan, which is pounded, breaded, and seasoned. Pan-fried, half butter, half olive oil, uh, topped with our homemade tomato sauce and mozzarella that we make every day here. We end on Mario's favorite dessert, flaming bananas a la rum. Just 
leave me here. This is so rich, so decadent. They leave the table at the end of the night. What do you want them thinking about, Carbone? Their next reservation. <laughs> But we just wanted to bring people back to be connected with food, with wine, with stories. It's all about connecting authentic food, service, and style at Forte by Chef Adrian on Miracle Mile in Coral Gables. Award-winning chef Adrian Calvo's fourth restaurant in her roster. Forte is her mother's maiden name. Her grandfather is from Sicily. She owned a, a, a beauty salon, and all these Italians would share these recipes that were 100 years old, plus my family's recipes. I'm like, you know what, it's a good time to do forte. The look is clean and warm with special attention to detail, like the copper bar that greets diners upon entry. We begin our tasting at the bar with the creative cocktails. And we believe in like detox, retox. If you're having pineapple, you're obviously intoxicating with vodka, but you're detoxing with pineapple. Detox, retox, yeah. I'm buying it. We open with a charcuterie board filled with the finest of meats, cheeses, breads, olives, and more, before moving on to chef's signature spaghetti carbonara cooked al dente with pork cheek and egg yolk. I taste the, the truffle. The pork cheek, which I was afraid of, by the way, is no. just yummy, the perfect amount of salt. Then fall off the bone braised lamb shank with polenta, cipollini onion, and spinach. Oh my Not, goodness. Look at that. It's been cooking in a lot of wine and vegetables, I, I garlic. Mean, it's warm, it's mm -hmm. comforting, it's like a hug. Plate after plate, our never-ending feast is one for the books as we end on Chef's Beyond Creamy Homemade Gelato. Wow. The ultimate in decadence. And this is why Italians go around the street with their big cones of gelato and they're just like living their best life. <laughs> they're living, and so are we right yeah, now. So are we, yeah. Just delicious. You know, a family restaurant with humble origins can also be a recipe for success. Lil Greenhouse Grill started out as a food truck, but has grown into a restaurant so popular, Oprah Winfrey even paid a visit. That's our next stop for a twist on traditional soul food. Welcome to Lil Greenhouse Grill, a charming eatery in the heart of Overtown with the emphasis on Lil, says managing partner Nicole Gates. And a lot of people wonder, where did you get the Lil? It's because we're smaller than little, as you can see. <laughs> Lil Lil. It's Lil. With just 35 seats inside, Gates and her co-partner, Chef Kareem Bryant, fill the small space with special touches, making it feel homey and warm. The art is custom made by Chef Kareem's uncle. So we are a family-owned restaurant and we incorporate family as much as possible. As for the food, they call it Neo Soul, a healthy alternative of soul food. Especially back in the earlier years, some of the food was not cooked in a healthier form with lots of fats and that sort of thing. Well, we have kind of altered the recipes a little bit. Back in early 2019, Little Greenhouse Grill was honored for its healthy options. I can't wait to have delicious Hello. soul food that's actually healthy. They received a surprise visit from the one and only Oprah Winfrey, along with her bestie Gail King and a CBS News crew as a promotion with Weight Watchers. Back in the kitchen, Chef prepares our dishes and joins me for the tasting. We begin with a beautifully plated fried snapper with a side of cornbread and house-made pineapple chutney and aioli. I love snapper. The crunch, there's a little bit of a kick to it. It is like a, this is a fun dish, but it, it's a delicacy. Yeah. Really nice. And finally, their classic pork ribs, smoked with hickory and applewood. And it's fall off the bone good and you just wanna just have fun with this all day long. When we come back, celebrating South Florida's Hispanic heritage with what else? Food. We're the only Cuban sandwich pretty much in the country that makes everything in-house, down to my mustard, pickles, the ham we brine, the pork we make here. This really could be my favorite plantain ever. I love that it's so flat. This CBS4 News special, Taste of the Town, the best of 2021. We'll be back right after this. This is a CBS4 News special, Taste of the Town, the best of 2021. Once again, here's CBS4's Lisa Petrillo. Welcome back. South Florida is a melting pot of residents and restaurants. Earlier this year, we served up a series of tastings to commemorate Hispanic Heritage Month. Puerto Sagua on Miami Beach is one of our oldest family-owned and operated eateries. But first, a casual little Havana destination that makes what many say are the best Cuban sandwiches in town. It's a celebration of Cuban culture at Sandwich, a charming and authentic eatery on Southwest A Street in Little Havana. Hi guys, how are you? Created by husband and wife team Daniel Figueredo and Rosa Romero, where guests feel at home wherever they're from. 
One day, Daniel, a former architect, told Rosa, who was a paralegal, he had an idea. Yeah, he came to me, he says, I would really love to open up a sandwich shop. And I said, well, if we're Cuban and if we're in Miami, if we're gonna open up a sandwich shop, it's gonna be Cuban sandwiches and batidos. We're the only Cuban sandwich pretty much in the country that makes everything in-house, down to my mustard, pickles, the ham we brine, the pork we make here, the bread is our recipe. All the ingredients are made here, even my turkey. They serve the classics like croquetas and cafe cubano and decadent batitos or milkshakes. Let's get to the sandwiches. The key is the pressing of the bread or la plancha. La plancha is essential to pressing a true Cuban sandwich. We begin with the sandwich de Miami. It's turkey, hand-cut smoked bacon, Swiss cheese, lettuce, tomato, and mayo on Cuban bread. The warmth and the crunch from la plancha is insane. It makes it like thinner, and then the turkey is so warm that all of those sauces in the inside. Next, the Cubano. It's ham, lechon, Swiss cheese, pickles, and mustard. It, for us, it was really important to make sure that all of our sandwiches are authentic and that we stay true to our culture. This is, you know, what Abuela <laughs> right, makes at home. This is fantastic. You'll feel like you've stepped back in time at Puerta Sagua, located on the corner of Collins Avenue and 7th Street on Miami Beach. This family-owned business has been here since 1968, says General Manager David Rivero, whose grandfather and father began it all. My grandfather and his two sons, you know, starting this here, one being my father, and making sure that that legacy carries on and making sure I take care of what they started is very important to me. Keeping in the family tradition, David's son Alex also works at the restaurant, which has kept the same old school look for decades. The centerpiece of the restaurant is this painting by the Skull Sisters, legendary Cuban twins who created whimsical three-dimensional paintings of street scenes in Old Havana. That gentleman here in black, apparently he existed because many customers come in here and say, oh, that's so-and-so. The menu is huge. A feast has arrived at our table, beginning with those familiar Cuban sides like the oversized flat tostones I cannot stop eating. It's a green plantain. You pre-fry them, then you smush them down like this, and you fry them for the second time. This really could be my favorite plantain ever. I love that it's so flat. We end on their classic vaca frita, served with beans and rice. It's slow-cooked beef marinated in lemon, garlic, and salt, served crispy with grilled onions. So delicious, and the onions are the right consistency. I don't know about you, but I'm hungry. Taste of the Town, the best of 2021, will be right back. Welcome back. If you'd like to check out any of my Taste of the Town profiles, just head over to our website, cbsmiami.com slash taste of the town. We also have recipes from those restaurants you can make at home. I hope you enjoyed Taste of the Town, the best of 2021. From all of us at CBS4, I'm Lisa Petrillo, wishing you memorable meals and delicious dining. And here's to more appetizing Taste of the Towns in 2022.